Hey everyone, it's me Mandil and I'm here with the continuation of my tutorial series on making car scan using C graphics or C++ graphics. So, but this tutorial will be a bit different than what, how I used to do in others videos. So in this video, I'm gonna, I already wrote all the code, so I'm gonna explain you now how it does, how it works. It will be more easy for you to understand and even for me to explain it properly. So let's get started. So here I added a few variables. The first, all other stuffs are same except I just tweak the variable, tweak the value of delay time, so that the tourist track would not move so fast. So I tweaked it from 20 to 50. And the thing is, first I added the body of car and how we can control the car by using our key. So first we'll see the car variable so we have here two variables one is c underscore x which represent the value of car in x axis so whenever we are pressing any keys then we need to decrease or increase the value of our graph x value of our car graphs car graphic like whatever the components of it may be so that for that we are using the variable c underscore x and m underscore speed is the how much we want to decrease or increase the value of car in the x axis so it is just like our left right control speed and after that let's go to the car design so first let's see so you can see here here is a red box so now what i have done here is i first initialize the color as a black so that it's is would come as a black and I set this color to the red and I draw a rectangle of size of size about 100 pixels in x axis and about uh, 120 pixels some yeah 120 pixels in y axis so I added the value of c underscore x in our x axis because we are going if we press left or right key then we are going to tweak the variables values in x axis so that we added I added this values in the x axis. So whenever we press the right key, the cx value increase. So the value of rectangle x axis, and when we press left key, then cx value decrease. So the value of rectangle. So this draw the first graph, which is the body of car. Now second, it will be up front. So here, let's compile the program and see first. So here now it has a front of the car or it, we can say etc so here also same thing i just gave it a color brown and i draw a rectangle for it but just i position it so that it would look like it's front so that if you don't know about drawing rectangles and other stuff then you can check the link in the description below which would link you to the video in which i have already explained how you can draw a rectangle and fill color in that and our third value it is for making wood and wheels so let's see first how it looks like now it has drawn a hood and two black wheels so how I draw a hood is by just use a rectangle in the middle of the car body and it set the color as a green and for wheels I draw it using a pie slice which will draw a pie and automatically fill it with the set fill style color so it is not necessary to use flood fill so yeah we draw on a ply slice which is from 90 degree to 270 degree which will make just like our mm, just as it's uh, as it would look like like a tires and the same thing goes for here here we started from 270 and then we raised to the we completed it in the or we joined it with the car in 90 by making it from go from 270 degree to 90 degree so that it would look like the just look like as a wheel so that and its radius is 6 and 5 because I don't know when I keep both 6 it was giving me some like uh, the one the first one was bigger and second one was smaller so I don't know why it was giving like that so in order to make it look like proper I just took the value I just integrate the value of its radius by 1 it won't be a problem so here now we draw a car so the main thing down here 
Now this is the main portion for the control. So if you don't know how we can control the graph using keys, then just stick to the videos with the link in the description below. So here we use the get async straight. So and we are passing the value of left. So whenever we press the left key, our C underscore X value would decrease by the value we have given for M underscore speed. And whenever we press the right key, then our C underscore X value would increase by the value that we have given for our X our M underscore speed. So whenever the C of X C X C underscore X will change, so our graph. So all the car graphs are connected with C underscore X in their X axis. So whenever it changes, the graph will change. So it will look like it is moving when you press the key. So now we can see when you compile the program. Now when I press right key, it is moving to our right axis. And whenever I press left key, then it is moving to our negative X axis. So like that. A forward and backward we are not going to make because we are going to only dodge the car which will come from the front come from the front so we are only making it to move in x and y in x axis whether negative or positive so this is all for today thank you guys very much thank you very much guys for watching and in next video i'll probably make uh, some enemy cars to spawn from the up axis towards the down axis so it will be moving from top to button so that we have to dodge and we'll even use some of the like collision detection because now we can go anywhere it has no any restriction so we'll use restriction as well as collision detection whenever it press the a, whenever it draws the ace of our track so like that we'll do but before that we'll just make enemy now next next episode so stay tuned for that okay guys thank you very much for watching this video so if you like this video then click on the like button below and don't forget to comment if you have any doubts regarding this or if you have any suggestions about this video or about this tutorial series then please mention in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you would like to see her then i would be gladly happy and if you have any other furthermore suggestions or if you want to know about other stuffs in programming or other knowledge regarding the various stuffs then just go to the facebook page which link is just in the app icon above so you just click that icon then you would be redirected to our facebook page so facebook group sorry uh, so that dear you could ask any kind of stuff that you have in mind or you could post any kind of questions which is related to programming So guys, that's all for today and hope you enjoyed this video. So stay tuned for further more updates and keep on watching and Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much